the hardest game mode ever created is called Chimps Mode. And today, we're gonna beat Chimps Mode only using Mortal Monkeys. And we're gonna only use two of them. But And before we start the video, you have to subscribe. Come on, subscribe. You haven't subscribed yet, have you? Okay, now you have, thank you. So I gave myself just enough money to buy the first Mortal Monkey. And so I'm also playing on this map called Moon Landing, I think. And basically, it's actually, it's, it's a, a decent map for Mortal Monkeys. And one of the first problems is the black balloons are coming soon. The thing is, black balloons, they're resistant to all explosives. And mortar monkeys shoot explosives. Luckily, there is a way mortar monkeys can pop black balloons. If we get faster reload and rapid reload, you'll hear the next upgrade is called heavy shells. Attacks faster and can also pop black balloons. So this is really the only way we'll be able to pop the black balloons. Okay, let's get heavy shells. The next thing we want to get is, the thing is, the mortal monkey by itself can't see camel balloons. So we're going to get another mortal monkey, and this time, we're going to go bottom path. We're going to get increased accuracy, we're going to get bony stuff, and then we're going to get signal player. Camel balloons popped, by flares, lose the camel property forever, permanently. And it may be noted, oh, we have zero mortals left. Because here's the thing, this will be the last mortal we'll use. <laughs> and luckily, the are coming out, but the mortals, mortals drop explosives, so we're good. Now, on the Heavy Shelves Mortal Monkey, we're gonna get bigger blasts, and bigger shelves deliver a bigger blast radius, and we're also gonna get Bloom Buster, smash through three layers of balloons at once. <laughs> Next thing we wanna get, because the thing is the Moabs are gonna be a really big problem, because we just can't do enough damage to it. So we're gonna get Artillery Battery. Bombardment ability unleashes a rapid fire attack in a slightly wider area. Main attack does more damage to BADs and boss balloons, um, and upgrades to and upgrades to three barrels for incredibly fast at attacks. Oh no, I didn't use the ability. Hold on, I'm gonna use the ability. Boom! Basically launches them at supersonic speed. Look at that. Next thing I'm gonna get is bigger blast and balloon buster on the signal flare water monkey. Okay, so we have $13,000. The next thing we're gonna get is Shadowing Shells. This is like an insane upgrade. So you know all the scary, super ceramic, fortified balloons in round 98? The thing is Shadowing Shells. Basically, it allows us to get rid of all the fortified balloons. Yeah, yeah, and it also gets rid of the fortification from like BFB2s. It's extremely broken. But remember, this artillery battery is the only thing that can right now pop the black balloons. I'm gonna read it. Pop and Ah has a permanent rapid attack speed. It enhances the BAD and boss damage of all artillery batteries. Pop and Ah build rains explosions all over the whole screen, damaging balloons and stunning them periodically. Okay, let's get Pop and Ah. So now we have a new ability that literally stuns the balloons. Hold on, okay. If we, we have 32 rounds to survive. And so next thing we're gonna get is gonna get blue incineration. I think one of the most underrated towers in the entire game. I've never seen no one use this. But blue incineration, it literally incinerates the balloons. Okay, literally. Okay, so hold on, whoa, 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 okay. So literally, I'm looking at the blue wiki right now. Whenever blue incineration has rapid reload. Hold on. Anyway, what's gonna say is when I get blue incineration, and if if I did the rapid reload, it would do 100 per d damage per shot. But since I got Bloom Buster, there's 140 damage. And literally, 
Do you see how fast the Papa Don is launching it? Literally, I, I, I don't even, like, I can't even freeze frame it. It's probably so fast. Look how fast it is when I play in fluid speed mode. It literally, it's so fast, it doesn't even look like it's moving. It's just kind of shaking around, it looks like. Okay, now I'm going to get balloon incineration. And as you can see, so hold on. I'm going to pop this away. So see how these mother mobs of so the BFBs, like, they're, they're getting pretty far. I'm gonna target, I'm gonna target Blue Generation here now, but they just disappeared pretty much. And all, all I've got about this, the Blue Generation, it spawns like wildfires pretty much. Look how fast the mobs are just being deleted. Do you see it? Do you see this? The mobs are literally being deleted. Hop and odds good for like the insides of the balloons look at this pfb is getting deleted boom 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 deleted boom 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 deleted boom 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 deleted um, okay here comes the ddt's and we probably just melted the ddt's and the boat federation is getting closer and closer to beating the 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 popping off getting more and more pops anyway we're in the 90s i mean watch these umgs Give him a second one, two. Oh, they already popped. See, see how it. <gasps> oh. So th this is what we're gonna have to do. This is kind of. This is kind of popping like ceramics quickly. Whenever balloons are leaking, we can use the popping off. Not ability, but we can use like the targeting. You'll see what I mean. Give it a second. Boom. See how the ceramics are escaping? Not anymore. Hey, look at all these ZMGs. Okay. Oh no, the balloons are escaping! Ah! ah. They're on all those ceramics, they're all escaping. Oh no, it's round 95. What was he? No. Okay, okay, we did it, we did it. The Moon Generation just got a ton of pops. In fact, I think, yeah, Moon Generation now has a lot more pops than popping off. So only whole rounds are probably gonna be 97, 98, 99, 100, which are, of course, the rounds that are about to come up. One of the really difficult things about round 98 is all the fortified ceramics that come out of the fortified BFBs. The thing is, Shattering Shelf literally gets rid of the fortification properties off the BFBs. So we're literally good. I'm just gonna beat the ground without using uh, the abilities. Not using the abilities. Okay, we can't beat round. So whenever the ZMGs come out, I'm gonna use pop and our ability. So see what happens. Boom, it just freezes everything and pops everything on the screen. No, it didn't actually pop everything on the screen. But it did a hefty amount of damage. Ah, no, I couldn't do it. Whoa, I'm struggling so much. Maybe, I think I'm gonna use pop and our maybe a bit later this time. I'm gonna use it now. Come on, okay, use the final BFB. Okay, we did it. Hopefully, we can drive this round without using the ability. Come on. Luckily, the. Uh, luckily, the. 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 Poppin' Odd gets rid of. Not Poppin' Odd, the. Shattering Shells. It also gets rid of the fortification. From DDT, so that's cool. Anyway, he's the final boss. The B, A, D. Okay, come on. Let's we gotta pop the BAD. The BAD is getting really far, and I don't like it. Okay, I'm gonna maybe. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use. Pop an orbit once the B once the BFBs pop. Okay, now okay, now, now let's use it. Now let's use it. <gasps> yes, we did it. That was actually pretty easy. As you can see, I mean they're pretty close, but the blue animation got a lot more pops. 